click Get Books to begin the downloading process. Then, click Add a Library. Here, you can enter your library name, your city, or your zip code. We're going to enter our zip code, and then press Search. Doing this will give us a list of libraries in our area. Ours is Eckhart Public Library, so select that. Then, click the star next to Northeast Indiana Digital Library. This will save this library as a favorite. Clicking the library's name opens Safari, which is your internet browser. Make sure to be connected to the internet. You can log in now using your library card and PIN, but we'll save that for later. Here are navigation buttons that you can use to navigate the consortium's website. We're going to browse the collection. On this page, you can scroll through the different genres offered by our consortium. Select one that looks interesting to you. Books that say, Place a Hold, are not immediately available for download. Someone has either already downloaded them or has it in their cart. One that says, Add to Cart, is available immediately. On this page, you can read more about the book, including book reviews, book excerpts, and information regarding the book's DRM. DRM stands for Digital Rights Management. DRM information is important, especially for audiobooks, if you want to burn them to a CD and listen to them in your car or on a CD player. Once you add something to your cart, you can either remove it from your cart, proceed to checkout, or continue browsing. If you continue browsing, you will add multiple things to your cart. However, we are going to proceed directly to checkout. Here, select your library from the drop-down menu. Once again, we're selecting Eckhart. Now, you are prompted to log in using your library card number and your PIN. Do so now. The presence of the logout link in the upper right hand corner of the page indicates that we have successfully logged in. From here, we can either remove the book from the cart or confirm checkout. We'll confirm checkout now. From here, we'll be able to download our book. Make sure to note the due date. When you're ready, click download. This will return us directly to the OverDrive Media Console and our book will begin downloading. To view downloads in progress, click Get Books, and then click the Downloads button at the bottom. This will show the progress of your current download and any downloads you may have paused. Audiobooks, in particular, take a long time to download, so you may want to do it in sections. Once the book is downloaded, you can return to the main screen by clicking Bookshelf. From here, click on the title to begin reading your book.